Hello everyone, I wanted to make a quick video outlining uh, some of the options you have if you were to accidentally delete an assignment in your class team, how you can still restore those files in your student work. So I've got uh, this assignment that I created here called Test of Recovering a Deleted Assignment, and I've distributed that to my class. I have two students who have yet to turn it in, uh, but I do have one student here, Demo Student 3, who's returned it, and I've actually um, it's been turned into me. I assessed it with the rubric and they gave them their feedback and I returned it to them. Now, um, if you were to accidentally delete this, again, the only way you can actually delete your assignment is by going into the three dots and edit assignment. And if you were potentially making a change there to the due date or to uh, the resources attached, the, the grading, things like that, there is this delete option at the top. And when you click delete, uh, it says, are you sure you want to delete this? It's going to give you confirmation. If you do click yes, that is going to delete this assignment. And there is no section within your class team as a teacher for deleted assignments. It's not going to appear here. Now, that being said, there is still a section where files that were part of that assignment are still going to reside that you can recover. It's not going to be the same as just restoring your assignment where all the grades are imported back into your class team, um, you know, and all the setup that you did for your assignment won't just automatically come back, but you can still recover student work, for example. So to do that, um, you need to open up what's called SharePoint. And that's what uh, your class teams are built on. It's what they really reside on it and where all the information with your team is stored in. And you can access the SharePoint for your class team very easily by going to the Files tab. So in our general channel here, we click on Files and then Open in SharePoint. You see this tab here at the top. And if you click that, it's gonna open up in your default web browser. And if you weren't signed in with your account, you'll need to do that to verify that again, you are the owner of that class team and, and can access and edit the SharePoint site that's associated with it. But here now we're into our uh, SharePoint that's associated with our team. So you see, can see it's got the same name. It's got the logo that you would have assigned. It'll show you how many members are in your uh, team. Uh, it shows that it's a private group again. It's, it's only available to the people that you've invited to it. Um, and now I can actually see that it stores all of the content from our team. So um, things like the conversation uh, documents. So any documents that I've added to my channels, it will have the different channels. It will show those folders where I've added content. Um, the class notebook is available there. And then you can see things like the structure of the uh, overall team. It'll show show uh, content that you've added to it. Class materials will bring you to that read-only folder where you can quickly input content that you want to be read-only. And again, that's stored in the class materials folder in the file section of your general channel. Um, but you also have this piece down here at the bottom that says site contents. And if you click on that, you're going to see this is kind of the structure of the, the class team and all the content behind it that we don't see when we're just in the team's interface. But when you click on site contents, you notice that down here in this list of folders, there's a folder titled student work. And if you click on that, you can now open up um, this page and it's going to break it down into two sections. It's going to have a folder titled submitted files and a title for working files. Working files are gonna be the copies of all the files that your students are currently working on, things that haven't been turned in by the student. So you can actually access all of your students' work right there uh, and see the files they're working on in real time as, as they're anyone. You'd be able to open up, whether it's a Word doc, a PowerPoint, an Excel file, a OneNote uh, page, you can open all of that up and see the work they're doing in real time. Um, but you also have this section here for submitted files. And so this will be, again, anything that that student submitted. It's gonna be broken down in these folders into the individual students. So in this case, uh, it was demo student three who had turned in that, that test uh, assignment for seeing if we can recover deleted work. So if I click on their name, you can see here that even though I've deleted the assignment from my class team page, I can go back and just show you again, uh, under assignments here as the teacher, I can see that that assignment titled uh, demonstration of deleting assignments, it's not there anymore under my assigned or return. So it, it has been deleted from the team, 
but in my SharePoint, I can still see any submitted student work that went along with that assignment. So I'd be able to go into Demo Student 3 here, for example, because they did submit the assignment and then maybe I accidentally deleted it and they, they wanted to recover their work. I can open up that folder with the assignment name and you'll see here, it'll also have multiple version folders depending on um, did the student start working on it one day, continue to edit it another day. It'll create new folders for the different versions, the version history of that file. In this case, there was only one version, so I could open that up. And you can see that even though the assignment is deleted, I've got access to their file. And I'd be able to open that up and I can still see that any of the work the, the student did. We, we put here was our, our template for this assignment was, does it work, yes or no? And demo student said, well, let's, let's find out, Ms. Gray. We can see here in this case, it is in fact working. And this is still, I, I'm still listed as the owner of the file. Demo student three is a, a collaborator on the file so they can edit it. Um, but I have the ability to, uh, yeah, to download this if I need to. So again, from this view in Word Online, I could just simply click on the file tab and click save as, and I could save a copy to my OneDrive. I could download a copy of the Word document onto my computer. You could even create a PDF if you just wanted to export it that way. But it means that you still have access to your student work, even if you've accidentally deleted that file from your um, class team. So again, it's not you know a perfect gonna just restore that assignment, import those grades back into your grades tab, uh, but it does allow you to access work from your students that may have been accidentally uh, removed from the class team. So hopefully that, uh, that piece was helpful. I'm just going to quickly again show you where you access that SharePoint. It's under Files and then Open in SharePoint. That's, that's the, the tab that will bring you right to your um, class team page, the SharePoint associated with it. And the student work is under Site Contents. And you'll see then there's a folder for uh, student work. So that's it. Hopefully uh, that, that can be of help for some people. And if you have any questions at all, again, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and uh, I'll, I'll help you as I can. Thanks.